Shalom, brothers and sisters. <laughs> so it's, uh, can I say, feel like a split personality at the moment. We're praying and worrying about all those affected by what's happening in Turkey. I mean, building after building after building is just collapsing and coming down. And there's people in those buildings and it's, it's crazy. So lots of prayer we're putting their way and we're worrying about that. At the same time, I am exceptionally excited in my spirit for an imminent trumpet call up home because everything is going down so fast. If, if you go look on my community wall, I've posted just how many earthquakes in Turkey alone in the last day and just in the last two hours and how big and consistent they are. The Turkish media is even saying they're expecting an 8.5 still in the same area. Now, if these swarms of earthquakes, mega quakes, that have affected them so badly with such a high death toll and pretty much all their buildings and cities almost wiped, when that 8.5 hits, these little ones now, little I say because of what they're expecting, but these mega quakes were felt in Damascus, right? What's going to happen when an 8.5 hits? Is that going to total Damascus? Damascus will be a ruinous heap in the end times. We could be looking at that. The whole time we're thinking nuclear war, uh, conflict, Israel hitting a stockpile, something. And meanwhile, maybe it's an earthquake that levels Damas Damascus for the final time. We could be looking at that unfolding in front of our eyes right now. And then they say that these quakes are so big and so intense that they've upset the fault lines across the planet everywhere so that they're now experiencing even 3.8 up there in america so that means america's fault lines are affected and dislodged disconnected affected upset the machine of judgment is warming up so again like i said i'd, I'd be looking at yellowstone keep a close eye on it i'd be looking at the fault line in california i'd be looking at all these mega volcanoes that are ready to go La Palma, everyone seems to have forgotten about La Palma, I haven't. I'm always watching and waiting for that one. That was just a warm-up La Palma that was happening way back. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a stone that falls into the ocean. We'll see when the time comes. So really, really exciting and, and definitely something you want to keep your eyes on in the next day to 24 hours. But um, yeah, it's warming up for judgment and, and it's it's huge. It's crazy. Um <laughs> We've got to be out of here soon. And then the world still focused on the Emmy, Grammy Awards and pop stars and superstars and sports stars and rubbish. In the meantime, sin is running rampant. We're living in the days of Lot and Noah. Nobody's listening. Nobody's heeding any warnings. It's extremely not rewarding, but it's a thankless job we need to do for the sake of the gospel and the ministry and the kingdom. Because maybe if even just one can escape what's lying here at the door right now. Or if that seed that we plant can turn enough of them once we're gone. That they can all turn to Christ as well. Then it's totally worth it. So we stand together and pray for that. And we keep praying for each other and we keep watching. I really in my spirit... Feel an urgency for how close we are to exit. It's crazy. It's exciting. I, I, it's like a bubbling feeling. So keep watching. Keep waiting. Keep looking. Things are heating up like we didn't think they would. We thought last year was intense. I think the last few moments before we are taken out of here is going to be way more intense. As we're seeing right now before we leave. God bless. Keep watching. Keep looking up. Shalom.